I just had the horrible realization that since uh, I'm recording off of debut, that just recorded that whole thing with the mouse. Shiza. Um, <laughs> that's horrible. Oh god, I can't believe I didn't think about that until now. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Vacant Ark. Um, this is a freeware game. It's kind of a bald hell. Um, although only partially really. Um, certain parts are very intense and then other parts are very kind of low down. They're not quite bullet hell, but they're still very challenging. Anyways, let's just get right into it. It's a little bit slow when you start out, but um, once you get into it, it's, it's really an excellent game. It's a lot of fun. Um, since I'm recording it, it may go a little bit slower than it usually goes, but uh, we'll just try and work around that. I really want to uh, show this game off because... I've actually wanted to show it off for a long time, but I haven't had the opportunity to, um, due to, uh, the fact that this game normally records, or it normally plays in full screen, and that doesn't work with my recording programs, like, I literally can't access them without, uh, without closing the program, so yeah, that just wouldn't have worked out prior to this. Volume's a little bit loud. But yeah, this game, just the design of it, as well as everything else, just the graphics, the music, the gameplay, everything just comes together and makes this very awesome experience to play. Um, so, it's a little bit unconventional that, um, you know, you have your us usual tiny hitbox, you can see on our stomach is our hitbox, it's that little flashing thing on our chest. Um, but this game does kind of have a health system. Uh, it's more akin to, like, the system of rings in the Sonic games, where, you know, as long as you had a single ring, you wouldn't die immediately. So, uh, see up here, we have our bubbles. Those also serve as our ammo. And, um, when you shoot, you use up one bubble, and you also lose your little shield here. You'll notice I use the shield a lot to do damage to enemies. Um, yeah, it disappears whenever you shoot anything, so you want to make sure that you know when you want to shoot or when you want to protect yourself, because this thing can be invaluable to you. And you notice me switching around. Um, the way that I use the switching around is that it makes all of these little blue crystals come to you, so it's a good way to gather cr crystals quickly if they're out of reach. But, uh, you actually do have two different kinds of weapons that you can use. You have Riot, which is kind of a shotgun attack, and then you have Force, which is more like an up-close attack. I just got hit there, and I lost all of my, uh, my, uh, little bubbles. We'll just call them bubbles. They're your ammunition and your health, more or less. But yeah, on the right side of the screen, you have your little red life crystals, and, uh, on the bottom, I don't know how you fill that little red bar on the bottom of the life bar, but when it fills completely up, I think it may be by absorbing bullets or by being near bullets. I'm not completely sure. If somebody can explain that to me who's played this before, then I'd be glad to hear it. But, um, yeah, when it fills all the way up, a, uh, a red life crystal appears on screen, and you're able to, uh, you're able to pick it up and get up to three extra lives, or... I guess you could call this your health as well, but I call the bubbles my health and the red crystals my lives. Cause um yeah, you you don't you don't really die when you lose one of those red crystals, you just take damage. But um more or less they're your lives, we'll just call them that. Sorry I'm kinda rambling. Um just trying to explain everything. Once we get into the game I'll stop explaining so much and we'll just kinda get into it, but yeah, the design of this game is just excellent. I really like it. Um, as you can see, once you run out of ammo, you kind of just shoot this weak little ray. It's not great, but it works. And that's kind of the point of it. You don't want to have to use it, but uh, if you have to, it, it works for you know it works to your ends of what you got to do. It does. It does damage. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're still on the first level. Most of the bosses are very easy. I shouldn't get hit a whole lot. But, um, yeah. 
This is actually a very short game. I think we'll be able to finish it within two videos. I may just record straight through and then splice it up, so if the video ends abruptly, then that's why. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I don't know where I first found this game. Uh, I think it was on some kind of indie game blog website. Amalgam of stuff. It, it had a lot of shoot 'em ups. It had like this whole section. There's the life bar, or an extra life crystal, if I can get to it. There we go. Times two ratio. I don't know what the times two ratio meant. I've never gotten that before. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have these little fetuses in bubbles with spinning iron metal things around it. We have these little fish that shoot lasers. We have all kinds of totally insane enemies. Uh, mostly those little fetus baby things, they appear a lot in the game, and they do... I guess they do carry some kind of significance, but the game doesn't have a very coherent plot. It has some sort of plot, but it's nothing that I can really understand. It's one of those kind of Ikaruga-ish plots where you, there is a plot there, and it's cool, but you don't know what it means. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. They don't really explain anything story-wise until... Uh, until the very end of the game. But, you know, that's how that's how a lot of shoot -em up games are, if they give you any story at all. So, um, when you fight bosses in this game, here's our next boss right here, uh, you have a certain time limit where after a certain amount of time, if you don't kill them, then they'll just kind of run away from you and you win the boss battle. Uh, it's better when you kill them because you do get more points for doing it that way, but, um... Yeah, if there's just a boss that you can't find out how to kill, because there are certain strategies that work better for some bosses than others, although I usually just use the the primary weapon, the cannon. Um, yeah, if you find yourself having a lot of trouble trying to attack a boss, then the game gives you the ability to just kind of uh, stay away from it and keep yourself from dying. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some more bullets and... Hopefully this guy will move back, so, yeah, he's doing- that's what he's doing now. Oh, goodness. Trying to pay attention to everything at once while explaining all this. Not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, let's get some bullets. Give me your bullets! There we go. And we should be able to finish him off relatively soon. Yay, we got him. Alright. That's that. I believe this is the last boss of Zone A. Should be moving down to zone B soon. And here we go. Oh no, wait, this is A4. Never mind. Yeah, I think there are four areas total in the game. Don't quote me on that. It's three or four. Somewhere in that estimate. <clears throat> but yeah, you'll notice the music in this game is just great. One of the main reasons why I really wanted to LP this game, as silly as, silly as it is, is the final boss music. It is beautiful. I swear. I, I just... I seriously listen to it when I'm just walking around. I have it on my iPod. I really enjoy the final boss music in this game. Yeah, those things shoot these giant... I don't even know what. They're they're like squids. They open up their, cat, or their dorsal fins or whatever, and then... I don't know if that's a... No, that's not dorsal fin. That would be like a shark. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, I haven't dissected a squid in a long time, strangely enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm probably going to be quiet during the last boss scene, just because I want I want to be able to show it off. I, I've looked around YouTube, I haven't been able to find a soundtrack for this game, but it really does deserve some pu publicity, because it's a really great game, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this is recording right, because I don't like recording off of my computer very often. Um, yeah, pretty much, I haven't done an LP on my computer in a very long time, I don't think since Doom, just because it slows down the games, and um, in general I just don't like it, it's a little bit buggy with me, but um, hopefully everything will turn out right, alright for this LP. And, uh, yeah, hopefully debut won't screw up on me. 
I'm actually using a program to force this game into windowed mode. I think it's called D3D Window or, or something along those lines. It forces full screen games into a certain aspect ratio. You get to choose how big you want the window. It's pretty cool. Um, this guy who uploaded a video on this game actually, um, he suggested it to me when I commented saying that I really want to make a playthrough on this. So he gave me a reference to that program, and here I am recording the game on the same night. Because <laughs> I want to LP this game that badly. It really is great.